Here's what's been hiding under the ice caps of Mars, a giant angel looking like a British land sculpture called Lady of the North. The difference is that the Martian copy is dozens of times bigger. Its halo could fit New York City with everyone in it, and its huge wings stretch across hundreds of kilometers. However, scientists claim that the Martian angel is just a random combination of craters and lakes composed of carbon dioxide. But can we really say that this doorway, looking like it's been carved on a Martian cliff, is only an unusual coincidence? And what about the mysterious forest? or this awe-inspiring face. All of that is just the tip of the iceberg. Today, we're going to finally figure out what the hell is going on on Mars. How could some weird things that clearly don't belong on the red planet end up there? In 1976, NASA published a photo of Sidonia, a region in the northern hemisphere of Mars. The general public immediately saw a giant face in that photo. The face had a mouth, eyes, and even nostrils. In turn, science fiction fans labeled it an analog of the Egyptian Sphinx created by a Martian civilization. This legend lived on for more than 20 years until in 1998 there appeared photos taken from another angle. It became evident that the face was nothing more than a play of light and shadows on the uneven terrain. Although a bit later, Mars rovers captured photos of new, inexplicable discoveries. Do you see anything strange in this picture taken by curiosity? Tabloids hurried to flash the news. Sensation! A floating spoon on Mars. And only one year later, Curiosity spotted another spoon. Can it be that jumbo-sized Martians were having a picnic there? Geologists were quick to disprove it. They say that both of the spoons are simple rocks sharpened by the wind. However, Curiosity keeps searching and in 2022 it gave us another reason to be puzzled. A perfectly carved doorway on a cliff. Maybe that's where those picnickers who left their silverware all around the desert are hiding. But even so, they should be really tiny, as the so-called doorway is only 30 centimeters tall. Plus, according to geologists, it doesn't even lead anywhere, because that's one of the many natural cracks that the cliff's covered with. But if there are no faces, spoons, doorways, and other strange stuff on Mars, then why do we keep seeing it? The answer lies in the human mind. Before I show you some other eerie things found on Mars, let's accept the truth. We see surprises like that everywhere. Look around. This world is chock full of faces. They are on buildings, on sinks, and even sockets. Sometimes this game takes absurd proportions. In 2004, a grilled sandwich was sold for $28,000 only because it was said to bear the image of the Virgin Mary. I'm sure you can see it too, can't you? Does it mean we're all a bit mad? Not quite. We're just prone to pareidolia. This is an ability to quickly recognize familiar shapes in random objects around us. Ages ago, it helped our ancestors instantly notice heads of dangerous predators in the woods. Now, when we're safe from wild animals, Pareidolia guarantees that every second picture of Martian cliffs will inspire heated internet discussions with hundreds of pages dedicated to a new conspiracy theory. But what if those truth seekers aren't completely wrong? After all, we can attribute all the crazy things on Mars to Pareidolia. These discoveries spawn the most insane theories. In 2001, Arthur C. Clarke, a science fiction writer most famous for his novel A Space Odyssey, stated that he saw real trees in the new photos of Mars, an entire alien forest, and unlike spoons or faces on the cliffs, those trees are in constant motion. From year to year, the woods become denser but then thin back. Can there be unknown Martian beasts that feed on these plants? Clark clearly meant something like that. Ten years later, David Martins, a blogger, discovered an entire settlement on the Red Planet, or rather, Biostation Alpha. 
Martins concluded that this is an upper part of one of the underground bunkers where Martians might be hiding, just like secret facilities here on Earth. So why do we keep finding oddities like that again and again on Mars? Scientists suggest that all of that is just a series of coincidences. According to them, the Martian forest isn't a forest at all, just a cluster of intricate patterns produced by carbon dioxide. And their movement can be explained by the fact that the dry ice thaws and then freezes again. Every time this happens, it fills the cracks on the surface in a new way. But why have we never seen glaciers like that on Earth then? As for Biostation Alpha, scholars are almost sure that it's just an image artifact caused by a cosmic ray. The amount and frequency of these coincidences is thought-provoking, to say the least. But the whole situation seems ten times as chaotic when the crazy theories of Mars observers suddenly get confirmations. In the 19th century, astronomers were already peering into the red planet and saw rivers and even artificial channels. In short, unmistakable signs of extraterrestrial life. But later, it was proved that the Martian reservoirs were traces of strong earthquakes, mountain ranges, or trivial consequences of distorted telescope lenses that were not very good quality. The Martian channels, or canals, were later called a disgrace to astronomy. But in 2017, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter took a picture of this little tadpole. In reality, its head is an ordinary impact crater. But the tail, in turn, is much more interesting. Scientists found out that this is a riverbed, and the river coursed through the crater after the impact. Thanks to all these unusual shapes present on the planet's surface, we know for sure that the researchers of the 19th century were right after all. Mars did have water in the past. Now it's easy to see rivers in other pictures as well and spot them where they previously went unnoticed. In 2004, Mars rover Opportunity found something similar to pool balls. NASA experts fanned the flames by recklessly calling them blueberries and encouraged enthusiasts to defend the idea of life on Mars with even more fervor. Some of them assumed that this and other photos show local species of mushrooms. This theory was once again roasted. But sometime later, scientists noticed that the balls resemble hematite crystals, and only flowing water can give them such a shape. This means that there was indeed a river. And taking into account the age of Mars, it ran in that area not so long ago. Subsequently, Martian bacteria spores might be hiding somewhere near those blueberries. And that's not all. In 2012, the Curiosity rover caught one barely visible metallic object on camera. It looked like remnants of some ancient Martian tool made of refined metal. Skeptics didn't buy it for a second, and a bit later it really turned out that the object in the picture was just a fallen piece of the rover itself. And then, most recently, another NASA rover named Perseverance photographed a shiny new thing. This time, it's not machine debris, but a chunk of rare earth metal. So, does that mean we'll soon find iron ore mining equipment nearby, and some other machines that Martians use to process the minerals? What do you think?